Hi dear friends, I'm Shamal Kapadia here and here we are to learn one of the finest chapters in chemistry. The name of the chapter is Organic Chemistry. It's a difficult chapter, yes, but you, it's a very important chapter. You need to be very thorough with this chapter because the roots of the chapter, the foundation to be laid in this chapter is very necessary because this chapter is there in 11th and 12th a lot of part is based on organic chemistry so if your roots are strong if your uh, base is powerful in 11th and 12th it is going to become a bit easy for you in order to digest certain things in the chapter okay so we're going to start with organic chemistry if i happen to bifurcate this chapter it's a huge chapter sure and we are going to study this into four portions four parts how are we going to bifurcate the chapter? We're going to study about that. So talking about organic chemistry, guys. The first thing which we're going to study in this chapter is about the hydrocarbons. Yeah, we're going to talk about what are hydrocarbons. And in hydrocarbons means what do you mean by hydrocarbon? It consists of hydrogen and carbon only. Look at the name of the chapter, hydrocarbon. That's a part of the chapter. It only consists of hydrogen and carbon type of elements. And we have alkanes. We have alkene. Yeah, I am writing uh, on a, I'm, I'm just writing it a bit separately. In, in, okay, for a reason. There is a purpose for that and alk wine we don't say alk wine we say alkyne so i would rather say that yes in this chapter we are going to talk about alkane alkene and alkyne that is the first part of the chapter where we'll study about the namings of these compounds the reactions the chemical reactions and how do we make them that's the first part which we are going to study in this chapter the second part which we are going to study in the chapter is the other organic compounds like we'll study about alcohols we don't have much depth but some portion then we are going to study about um, second thing which we will study about is aldehydes then we are going to study about ketones yeah to a certain extent and we will study about um, I guess carboxylic acids okay and also to a certain extent we'll study about esters if it's there in the syllabus there are many more compounds we have amines we have n number of compounds but these are few compounds whose preparations or uses we are going to study about then the third portion of the chapter so as i said i've divided the chapter into portions the third part of the chapter which we are going to study about is the nomenclature that is iupac system and the trivial names uh, I together combine it and call it as a nomenclature fine and the fourth thing which we're going to study about the last part is the homologous series right the homologous series of elements and some points which might be missing here and there so in the fourth perspective of the chapter we will speak about the homologous series. One moment, I shall write it down. So we, at least we know now what are we going to deal in the chapter. Hey na? So homologous series. Okay, and some important pointers. That's it. So I have divided the chapter into four parts. Now a very huge part a very huge portion of the chapter is gonna be based on the first part and can I say the first part is hydrocarbons so I can say almost 60% is gonna be based on hydrocarbons the chapter 15% is gonna be based on the other compounds 20% is gonna be based on IUPAC and trivial name 
and if you just add on 8095 just 5 percent which is remaining is going to be based on homologous series this is how the chapter has been divided now if you talk about the marking scheme the mark system um since four five years this chapter since 2000 let, let, let's be very specific since 2019 approximately okay this chapter many things were omitted from this chapter but now in 23 for the first time everything has been introduced so we need to teach everything so if you talk about the marking system or the marking scheme of this chapter the first part which is 60 percent of the portion i will not expect more than around three to four marks usually um i can say uh, the reactions come for three to four marks from the second part of the chapter which is alcohols aldehydes and all again one or two marks is max yeah but the third part of the chapter which is the iu pack I am counting on approximately five to six marks and homologous series are in around two to three marks. So the combined weightage that overall, uh, you know, the bulk of the chapter is approximately around 12 to 13 marks. I don't expect more than that around 12 to 13 marks. That's the upper limit. That's also I'm saying, right? But every year, obviously it changes right so this is about the gist of the chapter so without wasting time let's attack the first part of the chapter and that is going to be alkane which is a hydrocarbon right so come along with me guys to this journey of alkane all right so let's begin alkanes now what do we have to remember about an alkane what is an alkane have you heard about methane? Oh yes, in social studies and in the lower grades also, we have spoken about methane. That's a type or it's a member of alkane family. I call it as a family. Like how do we have Sharma family, Joshi family, Metta family, okay? All these Khan family. So all these families are there, right? And such a family is one of them, which is called alkane. In A N E, yeah, I call it as a family, right? Okay, so now there are a few points which you have to remember about alkanes. The first point uh, alkanes have single carbon carbon chain. So the first point is they have single carbon carbon chain bonding. I'll explain everything, just wait now, please. Okay, the second point uh, about alkanes, the second point. Uh, um alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons saturated hc yeah? hydrocarbon means hc so aage ja ke if i write hc no it's a hydrocarbon remember it it only consists of hydrogen and carbon third they are allopathic allopathic i'm not sure about the spelling it's there is an h out there allopathic hydrocarbons I'll explain every point of this. Just hold on, chill, man. They are allopathic hydrocarbons. And one more thing, they um, are usually waxy in nature. Hmm? Waxy means, can I say uh, they are just like wax? How wax is a bit sticky or something? So they are also called paraffins. So they are also called paraffins. Paraffins means they are a bit waxy, like a candle in nature. And if I talk about the general formula of alkanes, mind you, the general formula, that's more important. Uh, it is, I'll just write the general form, which you have to remember. And the general form of alkanes is CnH2n plus 2. CnH2n plus 2. Remember this, this is a formula of alkanes. How to use this formula? I'll teach you. Relax. Now, what are we trying to do is we are trying to study about every point which I have written out here as a, a characteristic of alkane. So let's start with the first characteristic, single carbon carbon chain, right? Now, remember, before going further, I have to tell you something about carbon. Now, oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Carbon atom has electronic configuration 2,4. Carbon has 2,4 na electronic configuration. So if carbon wants to become stable, if carbon wants to become stable, it will either take four electrons 
or donate four electrons or share four electrons right so can i say that the valency of carbon is four the valency of carbon is four and usually it shares usually sharing takes place okay for carbon carbon atom okay and second it's a non metal now let's put it this way i will always say ke bhai carbon ko kitna chahiye how many electrons does carbon want four so please remember carbon is a tetravalent compound not a compound an element i'm sorry it is tetra tetravalent tetravalent what do you mean by tetra tetra means four valent means valency the valency of carbon is four i'm just trying to tell you that carbon needs four dandas or sir what is dandas and to see now what is dandas listen i will always write carbon this way one danda two danda three danda and four danda this is called four dandas i call it as four dashes or danda okay like a stick now remember one dash one dash is called a single bond two dashes together now these are called four single bonds what are these these are four single bonds okay yeah it's bonds actually please okay so this is called four so always remember a head in time space and future i'm kidding a head when i teach the chapter when i draw carbon should always have four dashes varna carbon is else carbon is uh, not completely satisfied the valency of carbon is incomplete so please put it in your cerebellum that in carbon while drawing there will be how many dandas how many dashes four because it's tetravalent it needs four valency have you understood this okay so that's the first thing so now what i'm doing is listen now i will take some compounds which are based on this and i'll be explaining all the three points what do you mean by aliphatic saturated and single carbon carbon chain let's take the next let's go to the next page and understand what exactly do you mean by that right so come along with me guys so now out here okay uh, let's start with the first member first member in the alkane family the first member of the alkane family let's welcome that member okay guys the formula i'm just rewriting cn h2n plus 2 right this is called general formula yeah it is called general formula for alkanes sounds good now what you do is put n as 1 come on i want you to help me out please na okay let's put n as 1 so now when you put n as 1 Okay, isn't it gonna be C one? We usually don't write one. C one, please. Out here, you're putting N S one. C one, H two one zero two. Put N S one in that equation, yar. Please, two one zero two. Okay, plus two. So that becomes C H four. Two one zero two. So two plus two is four. So C H four is the first member of the alkene family. Now let's put N S two. Okay, when you put N S two in that equation out here, can you see? Put N S two, please. You get C two. Yes, you get C two. H six. Now what is happening is every time I cannot keep on putting N S one, two, three, four. It's a tedious process. It's a time-consuming process. ध्यान से देख. Look at it carefully. Can I say the first member? in that series has one carbon and four hydrogen the second member has two carbons and six hydrogen that means one carbon has increased and two hydrogens have increased there has been a rise in one carbon and two hydrogen in the next member again so now in the next successive member that's when you put n as 3 yeah when you put n as 3 um put n as 3 come on you just increase by one carbon and two hydrogen that's going to be c3 h8 
when you put n as 4 now right just increase one carbon and two hydrogen you don't have to keep on wasting time every moment you get c4 h10 and it keeps on going so on and so forth right okay so these are called the the ones which i have written right now these are called molecular formulas what are they called molecular formulas yes so hold on my friends so i'll just write down they are molecular formula now we are going to draw structures of these compounds structures and that is said to be structural formula right so structural formula well, basically i'm going to draw structures now okay these are molecular form so let's start drawing structures of these compounds now as i said what have i taught you please no 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 you tell me what have i taught you guys i have taught you that a carbon should always have four dashes right oh come on you gotta follow that dude so you have c please put four dashes okay and we have four hydrogens h h h and h so that is the structure of ch4 we'll talk about the name in a while please wait now have some patience dude all right the next one is c2h6 we have two carbons now this is called carbon carbon single bond between two carbons there is only one dash that's a single bond and six hydrogens one two three four five six and each dash will comprise of a hydrogen all oh, right now if you see this diagram the one which i drew right now can i say hmm? can i say that every carbon which i see out here has four dashes because the valency is four of carbon and hydrogen just has one single dash right okay the next compound three carbons one two three and one dash everywhere for the carbon for hydrogen to be added on okay so we have h h h all right we have h out here then we have h everywhere fine with this okay so i'll just erase this small portion which i have made a bit error okay and out here the next one c4 h10 i think you'll be able to draw this now how many carbons four carbons and 10 hydrogens one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten everywhere you can just put a h h h h i'm not putting this keeps on going on you have to learn up till six carbons in your syllabus they have not specifically mentioned though but i would expect you to learn till six carbons so similarly you can do this this is called a structural formula all right now we are going to go with the condensed formula condensed formula but before the condensed formula i would really appreciate and love if you know the names of these compounds right so if i'm talking about the iupac names iupac means new system new system means the trending currently what do we call them and we also have trivial names trivial means old initially what were they called fine now the best part is in alkanes the iupac new and the old names are the same right they are the same so there is no change now listen one carbon one carbon compound is called meth whether it be any compound it be alcohol aldehyde carboxylic acid alkane 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 anything one carbon is called meth Myth, M E T H myth, 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 myth. By heart it na, ha. So we call it as myth. Wait, are wait no. Two carbon compounds are called ith. Three carbon compounds are called prop. And four carbon compounds are called but. What are they called, guys? But, B U T. ठीक है? Now, since we are talking about alkane, what are we talking about? We are talking about alkanes. So at the end, what is the suffix? At the end, not I can't call it as a suffix, but what does it end in? Doesn't it end in ane? So the name of this compound is methane. 
right at the end what do we put in pro eat in probe in but in yeah and then if five carbon compounds are there the name is going to be pentane five carbon is pentane six carbon is six carbon is hexane so these are the names new generation names also and old generation names also iupac also which is new and old you have the same name meth eth prop but pent hex these are the uh, the initial things one carbon meth two carbon eth three carbon prop four carbon but five carbon pent like a penthouse pent six carbon hex at the end you just put in so these are the iupac names and now uh if i'm talking about one more form which is called condensed form okay now how do we write condensed form it's very simple listen uh, i'm just taking condensed form of the second carbon out here okay what am i teaching you i'm teaching you condensed the form okay now how do we write condensed form listen we have h3c now if you observe if you observe this you always start with h in condensed form you always start with h there are three h's and then a c so we write down as h3c dash ch3 check this out ch3 okay first always in condensed form you start with h3 h3c dash single bond that's called a single bond ch3 now for the next compound it's going to be h3c okay that's for butane huh? dash you just add a ch2 in between dek beech mein dek c at the center it's ch and h right so you just add a ch2 in between and ch3 okay that is for this is for ethane and this is for propane so all you do is in condensed formula abhi beech mein you just keep on adding introducing ch2 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 as you go to the next successive members right so this is uh, your condensed formula so this is all about alkenes ka namings for the first six compounds or the first six members of alkene methane ethane propane butane ch4 you just keep on adding ch2 the next successive will be c2h6 all you are doing is just add one carbon two hydrogen one carbon two hydrogen you keep on doing that and this add on is called methylene group so what you are adding na aren't you adding ch2 to so that add on that thing which you are adding ch2 is added for every successive member and this is called methylene group so basically you are adding methylene group to the next successive member yeah guys so just go through this and we should study that how i relate how i relate the previous part that is this to the next part which is these right so just go through it guys all right guys so now as i say that how do we connect this with what we learned that is with the next thing listen it has a single carbon carbon chain that means you check out all the diagrams out here which i drew the the bond between carbon and carbon check out on these bonds please please no come on check isn't this a single bond the one which i am making see the color red color check out on this bond isn't this a single carbon carbon bond single carbon carbon bond yes so a bond between carbon and carbon is a single bond one dash one dash one danda means two electrons how many two electrons remember that's one electron sharing from one carbon one electron sharing from the other carbon hence we call it as a single carbon carbon bond all the members of alkenes have a single carbon carbon bond second thing 
Second thing, if you observe, it is that they are saturated. Now, what do you mean by saturated? I'll tell you. Look at this now. Just check it out. If I say there is carbon methane, carbon has a valency 4. So if I draw these four things, right? And there is hydrogen at every part. So we have hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen and hydrogen. Now tell me one thing. Carbon wanted how many bonds? Four bonds, four dashes. Can I say all the dashes are filled up? Sare dashes bhar chuke hai, filled up. By whom? Hydrogen. Right? Carbon needs four dashes. Can you see any dash blank? Eh, for example, can you see that this dash is blank? No, it was filled, it was uh, occupied by whom? Hydrogen. So carbon, this bond of methane is a stable bond. Right? It's a which bond? It is a stable bond. So I can say that yes. If someone else wants to come, now, for example, if chlorine is there, I react it with chlorine. So chlorine cannot enter inside this bond. Chlorine cannot find a place inside the bond for the simple reason that uh, the bond is stable. It is saturated. There is no place in the house for anyone else to enter. So you cannot have something like this. You can seriously not have something like this. I'll show it to you. Just hold on. Uh, for example, C, H, 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 okay, this was already complete, it was saturated. Now out here, Q, you can't have C, L, C, L, oh my God. So what is this? This is dangerous. You can't have something like this because now carbon has valency 6, it has 6 dashes. Carbon cannot have more than, it can forget more than, carbon can only have 4 dashes. So can I say if chlorine ko andar aana hai? Chlorine ko ghar mein andar enter hona hai. Chlorine wants to come inside and make a bond with carbon, yaar. What will you do? So can I say it's saturated? So chlorine will have to replace hydrogen. Chlorine cannot enter until it replaces hydrogen. It's not possible. Such a bonds are not possible. So sorry. So sorry, chlorine. So what chlorine has to do? It has to use divide and rule. I'll tell you what chlorine will do. Chlorine one chlorine will take away hydrogen bye bye chlorine hydrogen will go forming hcl plus can i say now the carbon bond has h one h is out here one h is out here and this is empty isn't this empty place so that hydrogen is taken by chlorine and the second chlorine can you see the second chlorine? There are two chlorines. We'll take the place and it will be out here. Are you understanding? So the chlorine C is capital, huh? please. Okay. The second chlorine will come out here. Right. So this is called substitution reaction. So I can say this reaction, the name of this reaction is substitute. Substitution. So in this reaction, hasn't chlorine replaced replaced hydrogen and thrown it out so i can say that alkanes alkanes they undergo they undergo substitution reaction they can't undergo addition reaction you will not be able to add anyone because they are saturated are you understanding so they don't undergo addition they can't undergo addition reaction it's only substitution reaction okay they undergo only substitution and one more thing they are allopathic allopathic means open chain hydrocarbons i had written out there right i had written out there allopathic let's check see on the third point i i have under i have explained what is saturated one more point can be added that they undergo substitution they cannot undergo addition and the next part is allopathic allopathic means open chained hydrocarbons now what do you mean by open chain hydrocarbons i'll explain everything to you chill man listen in alkanes you can make infinite matlab you can keep on going so many carbon carbon bonds can be formed so many carbon carbon that's non-stop never ending these are called open chain hydrocarbons 
open chain and open chain hydrocarbons are called alkenes however there are few closed chain hydrocarbons also closed chain i'll tell you what are closed chain uh, for example we have benzene yeah we have benzene that's one of the examples of closed chain hydrocarbon c6h6 that's the molecular formula of benzene and if i show you the diagram it is this like a hexagonal structure how many that's it six six carbon alternate double bond to satisfy the valency of carbon alternate only and the rest has hydrogen it will have six hydrogen out here one and one out here and that is benzene that is the structure which i have drawn of benzene now tell me the structure is it closed or it's open can it be expanded no it can't because it's it's done it's like in a circular form it's like a ring shaped structure so these are called which hydrocarbons closed chain we call it as aromatic so these are called aromatic aroma what is the meaning of aromas they have a typical smell so they are aromatic hydrocarbons this is a aromatic hydrocarbon so there is a differentiation differentiate between allopathic hydrocarbons and aromatic hydrocarbons allopathic are open chain you can keep on increasing the number the chain aromatic are closed chain hydrocarbons first allopathic hydrocarbons you can keep on adding more and more carbon atoms aromatic are closed ring shaped structure and they have a typical smell or aroma right that's it so we understood almost everything about alkanes now we are going to go and explain in detail about the next portion which is called alkenes right so let's talk about the next set which is alkenes so let's begin my friends alkenes i would say alkene just forget the plural part alkene hmm so talking about alkenes the first thing their general formula yeah you always start with the general formula don't you the general form is cn h2n bus alkanes was plus 2 this is 2n finish right with this and talking about the specialities it is a double carbon carbon bond so we have a double carbon carbon bond double carbon carbon bond i'll show it to you while drawing the diagram it will be something like this c double bond c second thing is they are they are again allopathic open chain hydrocarbons allopathic hydrocarbons third uh, they are not saturated they are unsaturated uske ghar mein entry possible hai it's a big house you can invite more people to stay it's possible so i can say that um, it is unsaturated hydrocarbon unsaturated means i'm still hungry mamma give me more chapatis i'm not saturated alkenes were saturated mamma bus please i'll blast i eat a lot no something like that so they are unsaturated and uh, fourth point they undergo they undergo addition reaction you can add some things they undergo addition reaction and the fifth point they are also called olefins olefins means they are oily in nature alkenes were called paraffins these are called olefins right so let's study about uh, two to three structures of alkenes and their namings right so let's go ahead with alkenes that is the next part all right so starting with alkenes the first member of the family of alkenes the first member uh, i'm just rewriting the uh, general formula fine so the general formula is cn h2n fine chalo please help me out put n as 1 put n as 1 in that formula you will get c1 what do you get come on you get c1 h2 now if you draw this 
Oh my god. Oh so 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 wait 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 wait. CH2 was a methylene group, na? Yes. Uh, you remember methylene group? Oh no, you don't remember. No, come on, come out here. Check this. Isn't this CH2? Yeah, that's a group. That's not alkene. It's a methylene group. It's like a top up. What do you mean by top up? Uh, I want cheese pizza. And then uh, next, I want some corn on that. I need some jalapenos on that. I need some chili flakes on that. I need some uh, oregano on that. So those are called top ups. That means you keep on adding CH2, CH2, CH2 for getting the next family member. It's not alkene. So can I say the first member of alkene family cannot start with one carbon. It does not exist. The first member of this family starts with second carbon that is two carbons okay i want you to remember this we don't have one carbon wala alkene at all we it starts from the second carbon wala alkene okay it starts from which second carbon wala alkene so put n as 2 so it will be c2h2 multiplied by 2 4 c2h4 okay so the first is the first element is C2H4. These are called molecular formula. I hope you remember them. These are molecular form. Okay, next. Put, you just keep on adding one carbon, two hydrogen. I told you that remains the same. Add one carbon, two hydrogen, right? So the next member of the family is C3H6. And the next member of the family is C4H8. I'm just adding one hydrogen, one carbon and two hydrogens for getting the next successive members. That is again methylene group. Okay. Now I am drawing these structures. Let's start. It is C double bond C. That's what I said. It's a double bond chain and four hydrogen. Now guys, do you remember? the rules which I have told you that in my diagrams it, every carbon should have four dandas check carbon on the left has four dandas yes even on the right has four dandas four it should have four dashes and hydrogen should have only single dash C3 three carbons and one of the carbon will have a double bond I always take the last carbon Okay, any one set of carbon will have a double bond and you have to replace you have to place six hydrogens be careful every carbon should have four dandas let's start with the first carbon one two three and here is the fourth one okay at the remaining positions you place h okay the center carbon has already three dandas so i'll just put one more and the last carbon has two dandas. I'll put this one. Okay. So there we understand. Yes. Every carbon should have four dashes. So that's balanced. C4. Four carbons. One, two, three. And last may I draw a double bond. So one, two, three. That makes it four dashes for every carbon. H, 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 H. Okay, uh, pardon my handwriting, sorry out here. H and H. Uh, the carbon out here, the next carbon has already three dashes. It needs only one more. And if you can count now, automatically you will get eight hydrogens. And the last carbon already has two, it needs two more. So if you count number of hydrogens, see automatically it's gonna be eight. You don't have to worry about it. Right, so just when you draw the structures now, be cautious that each carbon should have four dashes and hydrogen should have one dash so this is called which form my friends these are called structural formulas right so these are your structural formulas perfect now actually there are multiple structures possible there are multiple structures possible for this which i'll come to it after 10 minutes just hold on all right so multiple structures are possible for c4h8 and i'll come to that five minutes please 
okay i'm drawing the condensed form now condensed form how do we draw i always start ulta h2 there are two hydrogens right so wouldn't the condensed form be i'll write it here h2c double bond yeah double bond ch2 okay and then we write this part right after that the niche wala it is h3c come on my friends h3c dash ch double bond ch2 yeah because this is only ch na count check this is ch and then check out on this one it is ch2 and all you keep on doing is just keep on adding ch2 in between ch2 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 keep on adding that right that's called your condensed form okay so this is condensed form now if i'm talking about guys if i'm talking about the namings okay the nomenclature talking about iupac okay iupac names now definitely can i say that two carbon compound is called eth right so eth three carbon compound is called prop yeah prop and four carbon compound is called but now can i say it's alkene it's an alkene so at the end there is an in so the name of this compound the new system name is called ethene propene but to be more precise i'll write but one in sir now what is this new system you are coming across in the market i'll come to that two minutes here but from but as i said there are multiple structures multiple structures there will be multiple names so the name of this compound is but one in why one check it out because this i'll teach in depth in nomenclature but it's just chota sa review i'll give it to you okay in this this is called the first carbon this is carbon number 1 then this is your carbon number 2 and so on i'm starting the numberings of carbon from back reverse from right to left because because the double bond is out here this is called the double bond right you accept it so jidhar se double bond hota hai na udhar se namkaran chalu karne ka you start naming the carbon from that point where it is close to the functional group close to the double bond okay so the naming has to be from this so can i say the first carbon and the second carbon has a double bond first carbon and the second carbon has a double bond you always take the smaller number first hence double bond is on the first carbon hence but one in right and the old system name of this compound the old system name okay old system name uh it is called eth again two carbon we call it as eth eth vilene at the end you put a vilene 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 ethylene you can't speak eth vilene sounds so absurd na together ethylene next is propylene that's the old system name huh? okay um, i just want to write down this is called trivial trivial means the old old system name and this is called butylene okay you can also call it as one butylene now as i said you have multiple structures for the fourth carbon atom okay so if i'm talking about the multiple structures of the fourth carbon atom let's see what exactly it is check i'm just focusing on the fourth carbon atom that is c4 h8 now what are the two structures one of them i already drew one is this where the double bond is at the last part you can also who who gave you the authority ha huh? who gave you the authority and tell me that double bond last me aayega or it can come uh, in between also cc double bond cc acha it can come in start also barabar ke nahi ah detali you told that i know that question did did come once at least in your brains 
so double bond can come anywhere but remember my friends the first and the last structures are the same this is same as this there is no difference no because in the first structure double bond jo hai na double bond one moment yaar okay in the first structure double bond is between the first and the second carbon and in even in the last structure double bond is between the first and the second carbon what did i tell you that numbering of carbon should be done from that point where double bond is close तो जहां से तेरे को डबल बॉन्ड क्लोज दिखता है नंबरिंग उधर से करने का वो रूल है ठीक है सो आई कैन से ओ शीट यार द फर्स्ट एंड द लास्ट आर द सेम स्ट्रक्चर सो देर आर ओनली टू स्ट्रक्चर्स पॉसिबल चेक आउट ऑन दिस फर्स्ट कार्बन सेकंड कार्बन थर्ड कार्बन एंड फोर्थ कार्बन इज इन द डबल बॉन्ड बिटवीन सेकेंड एंड थर्ड कार्बन एंड ऊपर के स्ट्रक्चर में डबल बॉन्ड इज बिटवीन फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड कार्बन राइट सो देर आर हाउ मेनी स्ट्रक्चर पॉसिबल फॉर ब्यूटी इन टू सो टू पॉसिबल स्ट्रक्चर सिमिलरली इफ आई टॉक अबाउट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज सी फाइव एच टेन दैट इज पेंटीन पेंट एंड लास्ट में इन अगर मैंने बनाया ड्रॉ किया यू हैव टू जस्ट डू टिल फोर तो अगर पेंटिंग बनाया मैंने तो उसके पास तीन स्ट्रक्चर्स होंगे तो कैन आई से एज आई कीप ऑन गोइंग फर्दर डाउन द लाइन नंबर ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स कीप ऑन इंक्रीजिंग बाय वन सो पेंटीन विल हैव हाउ मेनी स्ट्रक्चर्स थ्री स्ट्रक्चर्स ओ माई गॉड दिस इज ब्यूटिफुल उसके बाद आता है हेक्सिन हेक्सिन विल हैव फोर स्ट्रक्चर्स नेक्स्ट हेप्टीन विल हैव फाइव स्ट्रक्चर्स ओ ऑसम सो कैन आई से ब्यूटीन You just remember about butene. Ah, huh? butene is the first compound where there are how many possible structures? Two, and then you keep on increasing by one. Pentene three structures and so on. And now talking about the names, this is called but one in because double bond is between the first and second carbon. Select the earlier one, and its name is going to be but. Two dash in, sir. Why two? Because double bond is between second and third carbon. Select the earlier one. So these are the IUPAC names: but one in and but two in. All right. And the trivial names you can write one butylene and so on. So this is about the alkenes, wala part. And definitely, sir, alkenes ko ham log. Why do we call it as they can? They are unsaturated. Yeah, because I'll tell you one simple rule. Check this. Look, I am drawing ethene. In my syllabus, reactions are only with ethene. Ah, baki ke saath reactions hai bhi nahi. This is ethene, right? Two carbon compounds we call it as eth. Double bond hai, so in. Acha, by chance agar chlorine aaya, okay? Ethene reacts with chlorine. I'll tell you what happens. Ghar me jaga hai. there is a lot of place in the house this double bond will break double bond tutega by tutega double bond tutega ah it will break and you know what will happen it will form a single bond cc four hydrogens were already present come on my friends four hydrogens were already present h h h h Okay, and we will have chlorine and chlorine introduced in the house as two new family members. Welcome chlorine to our palace. So can I say, chlorine was added. Hydrogen were not replaced or substituted. Now hydrogen ko nikal a kya ghar mein se nae hydrogen bait hai apne room mein. Chlorine was added. <coughs> Sorry. Hence I can say they undergo addition reaction. So this is called addition reaction by breaking their bonds. Now, if you ask me, sir, what is the name of this compound? बाद में आता हूँ ना, I'll be teaching you all these names. Chill, man. Okay, so alkenes undergo addition. They are unsaturated hydrocarbons. They are unsaturated hydrocarbons. Superb. 
Fine, so yeah, this ends our alkenes ka part. Now I go a bit quick with alkynes. I'll not bore you all. Okay, thoda fast jate hai. Alkynes ka starting straight away with the general formula. Fine. So general formula for alkynes. It is YNA. And the formula is CN एच टू एन माइनस टू सो अल्केन्स के लिए प्लस टू अल्केन्स के लिए नथिंग प्लस जीरो एंड अल्काइंस के लिए माइनस टू इवन आउट योर द फर्स्ट कंपाउंड विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सेकेंड कार्बन राइट सो द फर्स्ट कंपाउंड इज सी टू एच टू सब्सटीट्यूट करो ना आउट योर एन एस टू एवरीवेयर सो यू गेट सी टू एच टू एज द फर्स्ट कंपाउंड द सेकेंड कंपाउंड इज क्यू कीप ऑन एडिंग वन कार्बन एंड टू हाइड्रोजन मिथेलिन ग्रुप एड करो सो सी थ्री एच फोर ओके एंड देन आई आई राइट वन मोर कंपाउंड होल्ड ऑन ओके दे आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर स्ट्रक्चर्स प्लीज स्ट्रक्चर्स ओके जस्ट होल्ड ऑन ओके द स्ट्रक्चर फॉर दिस इट्स अ ट्रिपल बॉन्ड ओके सो इट इज सी ट्रिपल बॉन्ड सी It's a triple bond carbon compound. Fine. So drawing, it's C one two three C H out here and H out here. So each of the carbon has four hydrogens. Even in the next one, you have three carbons. One, two, triple bond C. One two three. Every carbon needs four dashes. Fourth dash idhar se milega. This carbon has already it has four dashes. So, this carbon will not come. And this needs one. Center carbon, I am repeating, no dash will come because it already has four dashes, four dandas. So that is the formula that is called the molecular formula. So in green we have written the structure. The white we have written molecular formula. Right now, talking about their IUPAC names. Okay, which names? IUPAC names. Fine. Let's start. Hold on. The first name it's a two carbon compound, so we have it, and at the end you put a wine. This three carbon compounds we call prop. At the end you put a wine. Hmm? These are IUPAC new system. The old system or trivial system is acid, acid vinyl, acetylene. Acet okay. The next is. Prop, uh, sorry. The first one is acetylene. The next is methyl acetylene. The name of this is methyl acetylene, and it goes on and on and on. Right? You just need to remember the first two only. That is C two H two and C three H four. One more compound. Just remember its name. Uh, it's its diagram. Let's put it that way. Okay. The third compound is. C four H six. You are just adding one carbon and two hydrogen. That's it. Okay. Let's talk about the name of this comp. Uh, the diagram of this compound. Four carbons. One, two, three, triple bond four. Every carbon should have four dashes. So either three, either two, bad me nothing and one. And every dash may keep on adding hydrogen. That's it. Uh, there are going to be multiple structures, as I said, just like uh, butene. This will also have multiple structures where triple bond is between first and second carbon, also second and third carbon, also. समझ रहा है ना मैं क्या बोल रहा हूँ? Yeah, you can also have a triple bond out here between these two carbons. Okay, this triple bond is purely between the first and the second carbon. You can have between second and third also. So that's a multiple structure. The name of this is going to be but one wine, and the name of the next structure is going to be but two wine, and the name of uh, old system name is going to be ethyl acetylene. Fine, ethyl acetylene. Right now, sir, you spoke about alkynes, but can you tell us more about alkynes? 
just like alkenes just like alkenes okay same alkynes also first they follow the same league the legacy remains the same can i say multiple diagrams multiple structures they start from the fourth carbon four carbons will have two structures five carbon will have three structures right second thing is um they are they are unsaturated they are unsaturated you can keep on adding more stuffs ghar mein bahut jagah hai they undergo addition reaction same same and they are allopathic open chain there is no specific name given allopathic hydrocarbons they are open chain okay so just like this they are unsaturated they undergo addition same is maintained for even the triple bond compound so see now what happens is if you draw ethyne triple bond that's ethyne okay what happens the bond breaks if chlorine comes the bond breaks and what does it become triple bond becomes a double bond triple bond triple bond triple bond becomes a double bond one bond broke acha already there was hydrogen already there was hydrogen pehle se tha na now two chlorines are added to the group chlorine chlorine actually you know what more can happen another if you add more chlorine to this another bond will break if you add more chlorine to this and it will become a single bond and more two chlorines can be added so it is a hefty addition reaction lot of things can be added into the house ghar mein bahut kam log hai and the house is quite big right so this was the end of the basics of alkene alkene and alkyne so i wish and i hope you that just loved it and you have by hearted this with me and now we are going to study about the preparation methods of preparation of alkene hmm? and uh, with respect to alkene what all things can we make so let's go to that part now guys all right guys so now what we are going to study is that alkenes how are alkenes prepared and using alkenes what all things can we do right what all things can we prepare using alkenes so first we are going to study about the method of preparation of alkenes now in our syllabus we only have two methods of preparation of alkenes only two so you have to only learn those right so let's begin so now the heading is methods of preparation of alkene okay the first method the name of the method is the laboratory method of alkene preparation which we call it as decarboxylation d d matlab nikalna kisko nikala carbon dioxide yeah the method is removal of carbon dioxide hence it is called decarboxylation so method number 1 we also call it as a lab method or we also call it as a decarboxylation method okay remember decarboxylation removal of carbon dioxide so it involves using of the reactant whose name is sodium ethanoate or sodium acetate one is an iupac name and one is a trivial name we'll write both of them you'll have to remember this for the moment so sodium ethanoate eth eth means two carbon eth means two carbon compound so it is c2 h5 yeah C double O N A. It is a type of an ester, so I'm not entering into that right now. Okay. Uh, actually, this I've made it is sodium propanoate. Totally, there are three carbons seen. So if you observe this compound, there are three carbons. So I'm sorry. This is sodium sodium propanoate. Prop. What do you mean by prop? What do you mean by prop? Tell me. Prop means. Can I say prop means there are 
three carbons. So now let's start with sodium acetate or sodium ethanoate laboratory method. So we have CH3 C double O N A. Yeah, this is sodium. I write down the name. Short me likh rahao, sodium acetate, which is a trivial name, old system name, and the new system name is sodium ethanoate. Eth two carbons and a n single bond o8 at the end for o8 we use it for ester it's a type of a organic compound okay you react it with soda lime soda lime is a mixture of naoh and cao quick lime so we have sodium hydroxide in the presence of calcium oxide 300 degree celsius okay a reaction takes place and exactly listen what happens in the reaction reaction mein hota kya hai sun meri baat check what happens in the reaction in this reaction you have sodium carbonate which is formed which is Na2CO3 yeah I call it as Na2CO3 this is removed even I would rather say with oxygen this all is removed out and if you check it forms Na2CO3 now tell me out here isn't carbon dioxide removed it is a removal of c double o c double o is nothing but carbon dioxide so co2 is removed hence the name of the reaction is decarboxylation right so let's see what happens out here my friends you are left with na2co3 which is sodium carbonate plus CH3 and one more H, it combines to form CH4, which is nothing but methane. And methane is collected by, methane is a heavy gas. Okay, me uh, actually, yeah, it's heavy. It's, it's vapor density is good enough. But if methane is collected, water is displaced downward. Methane is lighter than water. So in uh, the textbook of, uh, one of the textbooks of reference, which we use, uh, the diagram has been shared and methane is collected it's collected by downward displacement of water so just remember that so alkane is collected by downward displacement of water downward displacement I'm writing in short of water now this was my one reaction using sodium acetate now they have also told one more reaction that is preparation of ethane using the same concept so i'm gonna now use c2h5 that is ch3 ch2 ch3 ch2 c double o n a and the name is there are total three carbon in this so we call this as sodium propanoate prop means three carbons propane it's a single bond o8 or you can also call it, this is the iupac name and the trivial name is sodium prop ionate prop ionate all right it reacts with naoh again again soda lime which is a mixture of calcium oxide quick lime and sodium hydroxide 300 degrees celsius Again, the same thing happens, right? Same thing happens. Uh, C double O N A and N A O is removed. That is not two co three is removed. This goes out. Decarboxylation carbon dioxide is removed from that. And what you are left out with is this C two H five C two H five plus H. So you get N A two C O three sodium carbonate plus plus C two H six and this is a single carbon alkane which is called ethane now if you observe very cautiously observe very cautiously if in my reactant there were two carbons in my reactant how many carbons were there two but in my final product alkane there is only one carbon in my reactant of the second there were two and one three carbons but final product may there were only two carbons that means can I say one carbon 
लेस वाला अल्केन इज ऑप्टेन्ड वी ऑप्टेन्ड अल्केन विच इज शॉर्ट ऑफ वन कार्बन सो यूज योर ब्रेन इफ आई नीड अल्केन विथ सिक्स कार्बन वोट आई यूज द रिएक्टेंट हैविंग सेवेन कार्बन इफ आई वॉन्ट अल्केन विथ फाइव कार्बन वोट आई यूज अ रिएक्टेंट हैविंग सिक्स कार्बन सिंपल लैंग्वेज जितने अल्केन चाहिए ना जो अल्केन का कार्बन चाहिए ना यू यूज इन योर रिएक्टेंट वन कार्बन मोर वाला कंपाउंड यस राइट सो दिस इज वन मेथड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अल्केन विच इज द लेबोरेटरी मेथड ना देर इज वन मोर मेथड ऑफ अल्केन प्रिपरेशन विच वी आर गोना स्टडी एंड इट इज यूजिंग अल्काइल हलाइड्स सो लेट्स स्टडी दैट्स द लास्ट मेथड ऑफ अल्केन प्रिपरेशन यू हैव टू सो सेकेंड मेथड इज यूजिंग अल्काइल हलाइड्स ओके लेट्स टेक मिथाइल आयोडाइड ओके मिथाइल नाउ मिथाइल ग्रुप वी कॉल इट एज अल्काइल नाउ वॉट यू मीन बाई अल्काइल ग्रुप नाउ फॉर दैट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड देर इज समथिंग कॉल एज अल्काइल ग्रुप इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अल्काइल ग्रुप इज ऑल्सो ग्रुप विच हैज अ जनरल फॉर्म्यूला ऑफ सी एन एच टू एन प्लस वन ओ माई गैड सी एन एच टू एन प्लस टू is alkene cnh2n is alkene cnh2n minus 2 is alkyne and this is alkyl group why do we call it as group why not a family because it is incomplete i'll tell you kya tum logo ko demo dena padta hai i'll have to give you demo at regular intervals else you don't understand check the demo put n as 1 chal everywhere put n as 1 won't you get ch3 and if you draw this carbon ka only three valencies are satisfied what about the fourth one what about the fourth one it's incomplete na there is nothing out here so this family is incomplete family so this is not a compound it is just like uh, you you make like lego na lego ka ek hissa hai it is a part of lego it does not form in a complete structure so we call it as alkyl group and since it is one carbon we call it as meth and end me yl yl lagayenge so the name of this group ch3 by heart we call it as methyl same add uh, add one carbon and two hydrogen so won't it be c2h5 and the name of that group is called ethyl group okay so just remember these are alkyl groups ch3 methyl c2h5 ethyl in general alkyl group so we're going to use these with halogen so look at the name alkyl halide that means using them with halogens right let's start the first alkyl halide is methyl iodide or iodomethane meth understand meth means one carbon hmm methyl i have just written out there check ch3 and if you take it with iodine that's a halogen it is called methyl the name is methyl iodide right next let's take one more huh? another name is iodomethane it has two names the first one which i wrote na methyl iodide is a trivial name the latter one is a iupac name okay it reacts with two nascent hydrogen in the presence of zinc and copper as a catalyst in alcohol zinc copper couple and alcohol in alcohol now what happens in this reaction i'll tell you just hold on another reaction i'll take ethyl bromide ethyl means c2h5 that's called ethyl group check ethyl ब्रोमाइड ब्रोमाइड मीन्स बी आर एट द एंड क्लोराइड होता तो सी एल रिएक्ट विथ टू हाइड्रोजन सर प्लीज राइट डाउन द नेम आई डू जस्ट गिव मी वन मिनिट अगेन जिंक कॉपर कपल एंड एल्कोहल इन एल्कोहल द नेम ओल्ड नेम पहले ओल्ड नेम इथाइल ब्रोमाइड द न्यू सिस्टम नेम इज ऐसे कैसे था आयोडोमीथेन इसका नाम होगा ब्रोमो 
ethane it's a two carbon compound okay so the name is going to be bromo ethane bromo because it's bromine and ethane because two carbon single bond fine now let's see what happens in the reaction uh hold on for a minute guys check oops it's a mistake i have just made not a severe mistake just a small mistake hold on guys all right now what happens is iodine and one of the hydrogen form a bond to form hi hi means hi hydrogen iodide even out here one hydrogen and one bromine forms hbr okay second hydrogen second hydrogen reacts forms a bond second hydrogen forms a bond are you understanding right so i get hi plus ch4 just hydrogen is added and isn't this nothing but methane even out here it is hbr hydrogen bromide and c2 h6 that is ethane okay so this was preparation of alkane now listen to me out here you can use anything you can use chlorine also it will be chloromethane bromo bromine kya to bromomethane and out here also you can use anything if you use chlorine chloroethane or ethyl chloride you can also use iodine the reaction remains the same fine so this is these are the two methods of preparation of alkanes that ends alkanes banane ke do tarike now with alkanes in my hand i have alkanes what all things can i make let's study that okay using alkanes what all things can i make let's begin now these are chemical properties so the first one is called oxidation 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 means addition of oxygen fine oxidation means addition of oxygen let's begin so let's take methane i have methane with me first yes so methane is ch4 plus excess of oxygen second again methane plus limited supply of oxygen limited supply and third same methane methane plus very limited supply just one minute guys methane plus very limited supply very 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 small almost like negligible plus very less supply of oxygen now let's see what happens or what is obtained the first thing when there is excess of oxygen you get carbon dioxide when there is limited supply of oxygen you get carbon monoxide and when there is very limited supply you just get coke carbon and along with that yes you get water sustainably throughout to isme changes na khali bolo ke balancing mein hi hoga there will be change there will be changes only with respect to their balancing of equations are you getting it so if i happen to balance the previous reactions i think they were balanced khali ek two missing tha so you can balance that two noh okay so if i go to the previous reactions um not this these are already balanced there will only be one shot coming out here for balancing there should be two written out here that's it yeah of course all the reactions in board exams have to be balanced and baki check karoge everything is at its place right so now out here uh balancing plays an important role first what you do is the best part is there are two oxygen out here and one oxygen out here oxygen is an odd number check one is odd i hate odd numbers i hate odd numbers make it even so you can put a two out here hydrogen became four hydrogen is four oxygen is four there balanced finish next reaction in the next reaction you put a two out here you get four hydrogen 
okay but now the problem is that oxygen is odd number it's 2 plus 1 3 and here it's even number right so what we are planning to do is I'm planning to put a 2 out here okay I'm planning to put a 2 out here so you have 2 carbon 2 carbon 8 hydrogen so out here to make 8 hydrogen do I put a 4 yeah and oxygen becomes 2 out here and 4 out here 6 oxygen so we put a 3 okay and the last part uh, if you put a 2 out here that's it it's balanced finish so remember it's excess may carbon dioxide limited supply carbon monoxide and very limited supply coke carbon these are the first set of reactions I would rather put set number 3 because pehle jo do the na wo alkane banane ke reactions the the next third reaction is alkane se kya banta hai now listen to me very cautiously had there been ethane also anywhere same huh? I would have obtained the same result same result khali balancing change hota. so you take any hydrocarbon of single bond you take alkane alkene alkyne result will remain the same you will get carbon dioxide and water only just the balancings will change fine and the last reaction which will end alkane thoroughly is the uh, halogenation reaction to be precise chlorination reaction so the fourth reaction you can call chlorination chlorination means addition of chlorine if you generalize this concept you also call it as halogenation reaction and it is a substitution reaction substitution matlab you are replacing you are substituting something with something else right so let's begin with this reactions first we have methane okay methane hai mere paas ch4 you add chlorine to it now in the presence of diffuse sunlight in the presence of which sunlight diffuse sunlight Again, what happens is one chlorine will go with one hydrogen to form HCl and either one hydrogen gaya, CH4 may say one hydrogen went away, gone, gone girl, right? One chlorine will be left. So CH3Cl, CH3Cl, continue the show, continue the show. CH3Cl plus Cl2 same reaction again look what I am doing is I am just subtracting one hydrogen and adding one chlorine subtract one hydrogen add one chlorine ye ho jayega HCl again plus CH3 ka ban gaya 2 and a chlorine add ho gaya Cl2 continue the show CH2Cl2 come on yeah plus more chlorine add on one hydrogen remove and add on one chlorine dude to CHCl3 one hydrogen gaya one chlorine gaya plus HCl and last last but not the least it's a phrase CHCl3 plus Cl2 uh, remove that hydrogen add a chlorine CCl4 plus HCl so basically with methane we have four steps one after the other in successive repetitions hydrogen was removed hydrogen ko ek 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 karke kam kiya chlorine ko usme add kiya aur kuch nahi kiya mein had this been ethane na there would have been six replacements are ethane has six hydrogen so one out two out three out four out five out six out so wouldn't there be six such steps okay but but in our in our syllabus you just work with meth methane hmm? if you talk about the names 
the name of this is one chlorine can i call it as methyl oh yes sir now this is beautiful because methyl is ch3 lovely i think you are enjoying it right no no i know you're not enjoying okay <laughs> fine fine okay no issues no issues okay you're not enjoying it's difficult so we have methyl chloride we also call it as chloro chloro ulta dekh methyl chloride is a trivial name par jab tu ulta naam likhega na ulta ulta reverse it is chloro methane lovely man you took it you took it on a roll chloro methane sir why chloro because there is chlorine why meth because it's a single carbon look everything has its own significance meth because single carbon chloro because there is chlorine and if you draw this everything is a single bond hence at the end it is ane chloro methane this is going to be di chloro di because there are two oh yeah this is beautiful okay this is not beautiful i know you're not enjoying it fine di chloro methane meth again single carbon ane because it's a single bond this is called tri chloro tri because three who is the chlorine tri chloro meth because it's a single carbon ane because it's a single bond and the name of this is tetra chloro methane these are all iupac names i have written okay we also have trivial names but it's okay you just remember the new system names i'll be very happy even if you remember that much all right and and just remember this compound chcl3 is also called chloroform ah are you bop re chloro i just messed up with the spelling just beg beg your partners like chloroform c h o l o r o f o r m chloroform yeah wo sungate na eh behosh ho gaya mai is that only and the last one ccl4 is also you know this name it's called carbon tetrachloride also oh yes sir uh, now if your brains are sharp carbon tetrachloride we have heard a lot about it in the chemical bond structure chapter it is a non electrolyte it does not have presence of free ions yeah it's that carbon tetrachloride so since you are adding i'm no i'm sorry since you are substituting you're not adding my bad you are substituting what are you substituting you are replacing hydrogen one by one one by one hydrogen is replaced with chlorine hydrogen is replaced with chlorine so it is called a substitution reaction and since you are adding chlorine it's called chlorination agar tu bromine add karta to bromination iodine add karta to iodination so on and so forth so this ends this ends our entire part about alkenes okay uses are there which you can just go through the book this is basic nothing great about it hi guys back to the preparation of ethene acha now in our syllabus alkene mein ek hi preparation method hai which is ethene we don't have propene but one ene and so on no we just have one method of preparation for alkenes and that is ethene now methods do hai but we have to prepare only one alkene which is ethene right with this so let's begin for the first method of ethene preparation first uh, this is method to prepare ethene ethene is a double bond right that is c2h4 we have two methods of preparation this is the first method and this is called the laboratory method it is using it is using ethanol it is using ethyl alcohol right so we have c2h5oh ethyl alcohol the old name the trivial name is ethyl because it's c2h5 and oh is alcoholic group so alcohol we also call it as ethanol remember both the names it reacts with 
it reacts with uh, i wouldn't say reacts with but yeah it's on the arrow like like a, a byproduct yes so it reacts with uh, hot conch sulfuric acid at 170 degrees celsius so on the arrow we have concentrated h2so4 sulfuric acid acts like a dehydrating agent it removes the water from it at 170 degrees celsius so the water is removed water removed madab, can i say h2o is out it's taken out from that ethanol the compound and you are left with c2h4 come on here it's so simple use your brains na thoda to chala dimag yaar listen oh and one of the hydrogen is removed one hydrogen out of five so if one hydrogen is removed can i say four hydrogen are left na yeah so plus it gives me c2 h4 and the name of this reaction is also called d d matlab nikalna removal hydration removal of water so we call this as a dehydration reaction laboratory method and again alkene is insoluble in water and it is lighter than water so it is collected it is collected by downward displacement of water it is collected by downward displacement of water okay fine sounds good now the next reaction that's it the reaction is done this is the first method of preparation of ethene okay so what we get out here is ethene double bond okay. now talking about the next method of preparation and the name of that method is uh, dehydrohalogenation sir what is happening it's simply chill man they're just chill okay it's listen we have alkyl halide so that's the second method using alkyl halide just like the previous okay i'm going to use ethyl now ethyl ethyl means c2h5 let's say chloride you can use bromide iodide anything i'll do i'll make two reactions for it, it to be easy for you so the name is ethyl chloride and ethyl bromide right i'll just write down the name also the name of the first compound is ethyl chloride these are old system names huh? ethyl bromide so sir what will be the new system names chloro chloroethane chloro uh, and bromoethane chloroethane bromoethane chloroethane bromoethane okay okay the name of this compound is oh, i'm sorry i'll just delete this the name of the compound is chloro chloro ulta iupac means ulta eth eth because it is a two carbon compound and in in it's a single bond and the bottom one is bromo bromo ulta janeka ulta janeka go reverse bromo eth because it's two carbon compound and a single bond means in fine with this now this reacts with alcoholic koh koh is potassium hydroxide with few droplets of alcohol hence we call it as alcoholic koh and on the arrow it is going to be boil boil means hot concentrated solution again reacts with alcoholic koh and on the arrow it is going to be boil now listen what happens exactly out here uh, sir, what is the name of the reaction you said? Dehydrohalogenation. D matlab nikalna. Are yaar. The name of this reaction is, I'll just write it. D means removal. Hydro. Hydro means remove hydrogen. Halogen. Oh my god, sir. Sab nikal to bachega kya? dehydrohalogenation is removal of hydrogen also and removal of halogen also how does this happen guys check it out so first kcl kcl matlab cl nikal gaya cl nikal gaya bye bye so isn't this removal of halogen 
and with OH, one hydrogen is also removed. Oh, nah, this is awesome. So can I say from C2H5Cl, one hydrogen is removed and one halogen is removed. So D, Nikal, out please. Hydrogen out, halogen out. You are just left with C2H4. Are you getting it what I'm saying? Yes. Hence the name of the reaction is dehydrohalogenation. So you get C2H4 plus KCl plus K is capital by the way and HOH. HOH means ho. No, it's not ho, it's water. Same thing. Uh, even out here, C2H4 plus it is going to be potassium bromide, KBr plus water. That's it. So these are two methods of preparation of alkene. Method one, that is called dehydration laboratory method bhi bola jata hai. And method two, which is called dehydrohalogenation. Okay, method number two. Okay, now alkene hai mere hath mein. In my hands, I have ethene. Ethene se kya kya bana sakta hu? Come on, my friends. I had alkane. Alkane. CH4 methane ethane. Alkane banane ke do methods the. And alkane se bhi kya kya bana sakte do methods the. Same out here. Alkane banane ke do methods hai. Now alkene se kya kya ban sakta hai. There are many methods but in our syllabus we will follow two. As per the CISCE syllabus which is the government approved syllabus they have not mentioned a method in depth ke alkene se kya kya banega but i teach you two methods let's start we studied dehydration and dehydrohalogenation so let's follow ulta method so now the next part is using alkenes in our syllabus it is only c2h4 ethene using alkenes we can make many things we can make let's start with the first one the name of the method is hydrogenation so come on guys we have c2h4 ethene just add hydrogen add hydrogen right now in the presence of hydrogen is added in the presence of nickel as a catalyst 300 degree celsius it's just added double bond come on alkene has a double bond right it 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 the double bond breaks it becomes a single bond and the hydrogen is added it undergoes addition reaction it gives you c2h6 but basically ethane is formed using ethene so this is a method of conversion of a double bond into a single bond. Okay, and this reaction is addition of hydrogen. Hence, we call it as hydrogenation. What do you mean by oxidation? Addition of oxygen. So this is addition of hydrogen. Now The second reaction is halogenation. So simple. What do you mean by halogenation? Addition of halogen, right? So come on, the second reaction. You have C2H4. Once again, you have ethene. Okay, plus you add chlorine. In the presence of uh, inert carbon tetrachloride as a catalyst, it just chlorine is added to it. Nothing else happens. Just chlorine is added. So you get C2H4Cl2 dichloroethane is the name of this compound di because there are two chloroethane and this is this name of the reaction is halogenation specifically i can also call it as chlorination because you are adding chlorine right and the third the last one actually ye do here but i'll do one more with you on a safer ground Right, the third one, uh, let's do it. The third reaction is add halogen acid. 
that is HCl, HBr and so on is added to it. So you have C2H4 plus let's say HCl is added, halogen acid is added, nothing on the arrow, it just, it just add it here. One hydrogen is added and one chlorine is added. So HCl is added. Na? Hmm? So wouldn't it be C2, H5, Cl? That's it. C2, H5, Cl. Kali add kiya hai aur kuch nahi kiya hai. So you are adding a hydrogen also and you are adding a halogen also. So the name of the reaction is hydrohalogenation. Add hydrogen, add halogen. And the name of the compound is chloroethane, right? I think you are getting it now. CHOL chloroethane. And the trivial name, the old system name is ethyl chloride. So this, this uh, reaction is named as hydrohalogenation. Basically, they are all addition reactions. Nothing on the arrow. Remember this. That's it. So this is using C2H4. That is using ethene. What all things can we make? Okay, using ethene. So the, you can also say chemical methods of ethene. Okay, chemical methods. Fine. Right. So just go through this. This was the end of alkene completely. Uses can easily be done through your textbook also. Right. And now we are going to go with the last part of the hydrocarbons, which is ethyne. Just go through it. Okay, friends. So guys, we are going to start with hydrocarbons ka last one, which is called alkynes. Right. So let's begin with alkynes. Now in my syllabus, uh, I mean, in our syllabus, Y N E, we only have two methods of preparation that also only of alkyne with a two carbon compound, which is ethyne, that is C2H2. You don't have anything else. So we have two methods out of which the first method is laboratory method of preparation. So we have the lab method of preparation of ethyne and the reactants used are cold water and calcium carbide so let's start with the reactions guys so we have calcium carbide is cac2 reacts with two molecules of cold water yeah that's cold water h2o it gives me c2h2 which is alkyne plus it also gives me calcium hydroxide. Now again, I can say that this alkyne hai na, jiska naam hai ethyne. It is collected by downward displacement of water. It is lighter than water, but um, it is it is uh, uh, I can say uh, lighter than water and uh, downward displacement of water, insoluble in water. Okay. And the name of the compound is ethyne. That's ethyne. And this is calcium carbide. Actually, I have another ways of even teaching you all these things. I have not taught you. I mean, uh, there are different ways I can teach all these things, but they require a lot of patience, resilience. You will enjoy. I, I teach you. I'll teach you one. See, I'll teach you one. You will enjoy. Perhaps, <laughs> but let's see. Okay. Okay. Now look calcium carbide. I'm drawing calcium carbide looks like this triple bond C and with two molecules of cold water that is HOH HOH. These are two molecules. Two times I've written now HOH is water only. Oh, come on. Yeah. Right. Okay. Actually, I can teach you this way using everything, all the compounds. But what is time is has a its own sweet uh, constraints. It will be CH and CH that that makes it C2H2. That is C triple bond C H H. Oh wow! Oh sir, man! Yeah, that's C2H2. And 
calcium goes with those two OHs to form. I'm just writing upper thoda to uh, calcium hydroxide CaOH twice. Did you understand? That's that's how the reactions take place. The bonds break. That's how the combination takes place. Okay, the same thing I have taught you in two different ways. So if you ask me, okay, sir, what is this? How you are trying to you are trying to make us by heart? No, no, dear, I'm not trying to make you by heart. I'm not trying to teach you how to by heart. But if I explain this way, now people will stop liking organic chemistry because I it's it's difficult on the the zonal the digital platform. If you are right in front of me, like with my offline coaching yeah, in my own offline, which is not possible, it's in Mumbai. But if you're right with me out here, face to face, eye to eye, I can teach you all these things. It's fun. All right. Nevertheless, uh, this is one method of preparation. And the second method of preparation is uh, the it's, it's called Vapis dehydrohalogenation. So let's go to that method of preparation, my friends. Second method of preparation. Yeah, I've, I've done something new, the scrolling down. Now talking about the second method, as I said, uh, I'm going to take um, C, let's, let me think, huh? C2H4Cl2, that's dichloroethane, okay? Or ethylene dichloride. So C2, H4, you can take bromine, chlorine, anything, huh? your wish. Cl2 plus once more alcoholic KOH. Which we alkene use in I am going to do the same thing out here. In the presence of boil, okay, it's concentrated, hot concentrated solution. Now there will be two KOHs used. Two, but I will write KOH two times. There are two KOHs used. So I can two I can but just in order to teach you in a more, you know, profound manner, I have written it two times. Fine. Let's see what happens. The two chlorines will react with the two Ks to form two KCl. Hmm? The two hydrogens out of four, out of four, two hydrogens will go with two OHs. Two hydrogens will go with two OHs to form two water molecules. And at the end, I'm left with C2H2, which is ethene, ethyne, sorry. And the name of this compound is dichloroethane. In one of the frames, I have written the chloro spelling incorrect. Yeah, C-H-O-L-O-R-O, choloro. So just, uh, just rectify me out there, right? Uh, pardon me out there. So this is one thing. And I can also take dibromoethane, fine. So I'll just take one more C2, H4, yeah, because there are four hydrogens, and Br2 directly. If I happen to write plus 2KOH alcoholic in nature, few drops of alcohol, and hot concentrated solution, you boil it, you again form two. KBr potassium bromide plus two water molecules plus you get C2H2. That's that's it. The name is dichloro dibromoethane. So the name of this compound is dibromoethane. I'm not writing this down. So these are two methods of preparation of alkyne. Now listen, using alkyne, what all can you make? Okay, so chemical properties of alkyne, yes, chemical properties of alkyne. Let's take the first alkyne. In our syllabus, you have only one alkyne, C2H2, which is ethyne. So C2H2 plus you add hydrogen, same like alkene, in the presence of nickel 300 degrees Celsius. So just hydrogen is added, you get C2H4. So can I now say out here, ethyne became ethene, ethyne became ethene, triple bond became double bond. Now add more hydrogen to this. 
Yeah, we have done this. Add more hydrogen again in the presence of nickel, 300 degrees Celsius. Double bond will break to form a single bond. This we have studied. C2H6 and the name is ethane. So triple bond to double bond, double bond to single bond. And this, can I say you are adding, you are adding hydrogen. So addition of hydrogen, can I say it is called hydrogenation reaction. Yeah. So this reaction is called hydrogenation. Because you are adding hydrogen. So chemical properties of alkyne. Okay, the second reaction is addition of halogen, same thing. Okay, so we are going to add halogen now. So let's take that. Just give me one minute, guys. All right, halogen. We take uh, C2H2. Let's take chlorine, the basic halogen, chlorine. In the presence of inert CCL4, we just combine, club it, chlorine kali add hota hai. You get C2. H2 Cl2 the name is di di because 2 chloro chloro because 2 chlorine are there yeah and this is a double bond so eth because two carbon hai. there are two carbons so eth and it's a double bond so ethene dichloroethene you add more chlorine to this same huh? on the arrow I am not writing inert CCL4 Double bond breaks to form a single bond. You will get C2, H2, Cl4. Now the name of this compound, I just want you to by heart it. I'm sorry, I don't promote by hearting except for some, uh, some moments where I feel that it's too early for something to be said. So ye thoda by heart kar lo. I'll teach you this when I'm teaching you nomenclature. Chill man, I'll come back to this slide. All right. So the name of this compound is 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 2 dash tetra tetra because 4 who is 4 chloro tetra chloro and it's eth because it's 2 carbon and it's a single bond ethane. So the name of this compound is 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 2 tetra chloro ethane. Okay. Why 1 1 2 2? I am I'm, I'm not in the state currently to explain that to you but yeah that's gonna soon follow in nomenclature and IUPAC rules okay so this you are adding chlorine so it is called chlorination but to koi bhi halogen add kar in general it is called halogenation specifically in this reaction oh yes it's chlorination right so that's it this is the end of alkynes so I have taught you two methods of making alkene, two methods of making alkene, two methods of making alkyne, six. And then alkene se kya banta hai? What is uh, formed using alkene? Two things. What is formed using alkene? Three things. And what is formed using alkyne? Two things again. So basically six plus two plus three plus two. 6 plus 7, there are 13 sets of reactions of hydrocarbons which you have to buy heart it. Hmm? So with this, we complete alkene, alkene and alkyne. And if I happen to ask you, they all, alkene, alkene and alkyne, they all are collected. They all are collected by downward, downward displacement of water. So what is the difference between them? How by looking, oh, they are colorless, most of them. So by mere observation, by looking at them, how will you come to know or how will you differentiate? This is alkene, this is alkene, this is alkyne. How? We're going to check. How will you differentiate between alkene, alkene and alkyne? Very soon. Yeah.